Here we go. With literally thousands of trucks, helicopters, tanks, planes, and infantry to choose from, the war game franchise has set itself far, far apart from any other, well, uh, war game. And me being your typical overzealous American, it struck me as just a little bit odd that this franchise is developed by a French company. A game about war. From the French? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. The French have been a military powerhouse for about 500 years, but they have just never really succeeded at war. Napoleon had a good time for a while, but then the win-the-loss ratio of France has just plummeted. So yeah. The game about recent history warfare is made by a French developer. I say this and immediately think that America has not had the best record since World War II. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I should probably shut my mouth. War Game Red Dragon is the follow-up to War Game Air Land Battle. While its predecessor primarily added more aircraft to the War Game experience, Red Dragon adds multiple Asian factions as well as naval elements. I could go into quite a bit of detail regarding other additions to the franchise, but let's just stick to the simpler things. The maps are better, the terrain is more thought out and developed, and overall it feels like every angle has been tweaked and optimized. That being said though, nothing else has infuriated me recently as much as this game. Don't get me wrong, I can get into the war simulation on such a massive scale, but it's just such a freaking strategy game. Let me highlight my personal preferences for a moment. I enjoy FPS games, some RPGs, and strategy games. I enjoy many others past that, but real-time strategy games have always sat on the edge for me. Playing multiplayer against someone else in an RTS game has always pissed me off. Everyone else just seems to be much better at multitasking the pants-on-head retarded AI that always seem to be a part of RTS games. Basically. I just seem to be incompetent at real-time strategy. Even with this biased opinion towards RTS games, I just had to give War Game Red Dragon a try. It is massive and complex, and just overall a wonderful, wonderful RTS. I can't say that it takes realism to the next level, it's not really a simulation. However, the numbers and stats are there. Each unit has exactly the same specifications as its real-world counterpart. So while there are no physics to speak of, everything will perform the way it should. From the F-117 Nighthawk in the sky, dropping its payload on unsuspecting armored columns, to the infantry-operated anti-tank missiles blasting the top of a T-70 clean off from two kilometers away, the level of detail and the massive amount of toys to play with cannot be matched by any other game to date. The added complexity of naval elements is just a stack of cherries on top of this incredibly huge cake. At the moment of this review, I did not get the opportunity to explore any single player elements or campaign because these had not been released yet, but from what I could remember of the previous game's campaign, it was incredibly forgettable. So not much to tell you there. We will just have to wait for the full release coming out this week. Overall, the game is very pretty, and the scale is insane. The tactics and strategy are ridiculously in depth and forward thinking and planning are really the only thing that will keep you alive. Take the time to read as many guides as you can, experiment with the different units, and watch replays. Replays will teach you the most about your gameplay and you will learn so much from it. Anyway guys, that's it for this week. I hope to be back next week. Uh, sorry about the delay. I had some other things going on, but so is life, whatever. Uh, take a few minutes to uh, check out my page, subscribe to some of my videos or whatever, and uh, I'll see you guys again some other time with another review or some gameplay. Until then, have some buddies watch your back. You never know who's going to flank you. <laughs>